Science for Quarter 1, Week 8 Environmental Problems in the Locality Matatag Curriculum Bansang Makabata, Batang Makabansa With me, Teacher KMT Good day, kids! Today, we will learn about environmental problems in the locality. Here are the possible objectives for today's lesson. Number one, give attention to the environmental problems that you can observe in your locality. Number two, use science process skills and attitudes in conducting survey about local environmental issues and concerns. What can you see in the pictures? Are these real-life scenarios? Have you seen any of this with your own eyes? In the past lesson, you have learned about using scientific process skills and attitudes. How can knowing and developing these skills and attitude help you solve problems like these? Do you observe environmental problems in your locality? This week, we'll talk about the different problems that we observe in our own place and conduct a simple investigation to find out their causes and their effects to the society. Community It is a place where a group of people live together, share with common resources. Environmental Problems it is a state in which the order and law of the ecosystem collapse as its original ecological function is destroyed due to the influence of human activities. Let's have a review. Here are the choices. Water pollution, land pollution, Garbage Pollution Number 1. It is the release of substances into bodies of water that makes water unsafe for human use and disrupts aquatic ecosystems. What is your answer? Very good! The correct answer is Water Pollution Number 2 it is the deposition of solid or liquid waste materials on land or underground in a manner that can contaminate the soil and groundwater, threaten public health, and cause unsightly conditions and nuisances. What is your answer? Very good! The correct answer is land pollution. Number 3. It is the pollution caused by improper disposal of garbage which inflicts harm to the environment. What is your answer? Good job! The correct answer is garbage pollution. Let us read a news article. Lawag City, Ilocos Norte, PIA, the Environment and Natural Resources Office, or ENRO, of the Provincial Government of Ilocos Norte, PGIN, called on residents to adopt effective waste segregation practices within their homes. In observance of Zero Waste Month, Tonette Kila, head of ENRO, 
called on households to properly segregate biodegradable from non-biodegradable waste. It seems like we really cannot attain zero waste. There is no such thing as zero waste because as long as we live, we keep on consuming. But the principle behind zero waste is actually to reduce waste, said Kila. When waste are left unsegregated, there is a risk of contamination as different types of waste may be stored together. Further, Kila said, waste that are not properly managed are challenging to treat or handle and often find their way into landfills. To lessen environmental issues on waste, the head of ENRO stated that anyone can implement basic waste management in their homes. When properly segregated, households will be able to maintain cleanliness and prevent unwanted odors. If plastics and biodegradable products are mixed in one trash can, it will produce an unpleasant smell in your house. But when separated, it leaves no odor, said Kila. Moreover, she also shared that when proper waste segregation is observed, it will be easier to perform different processes such as composting, plastic recycling, and waste diversion. To guide household members in separating different types of waste, here are other simple tips from ENRO. First, Keep separate trash cans for dry and wet waste. If possible, another for papers and one for the plastics. Second, dispose wet garbage daily. And third, do not mix batteries and chemicals with regular waste. Zero Waste Month is observed nationwide every January which aims to promote proper and effective waste segregation and waste management. Guide Questions What is the news all about? Great! The news is about on how residents may adopt effective waste segregation practices within their homes. Number 2 what is celebrated nationwide as mentioned by the news article? Good job! The Zero Waste Month is observed nationwide. Number 3. Why do you think there is a nationwide awareness on waste segregation? Very good! There is a nationwide awareness on waste segregation to promote proper and effective waste segregation and waste management. Number 4. Is managing our waste a challenge to us as a nation? Good idea! Yes! It is challenging to us as a nation, especially if other people will not cooperate. Number 5. Does improper waste disposal lead to another environmental problems? Like what? Good job! Yes, it will lead to environmental problems like land and water pollution. Number 6. How about in your community? Do you have an environmental problem too? If yes, what is it? Very good. Yes, air pollution is the environmental problem in our community. Kids, remember, this answer may depend on your problem in your own locality.
observe the picture. For some people, this is their environmental problem. Let's answer. What environmental problem is observed in your locality? The observed problem in the locality is the pollution of the river. Kids, remember, this answer may vary depending on the situation in your locality. Number two, what causes water pollution in the river? Garbage was thrown in the river. Garbage like plastic wrappers, bottles, and dead animals were thrown in the river. Number three, who is responsible for throwing garbage into the river. The locals and even the picnic goers just throw their garbage in the water. Number four, what are observed impact or effect of water pollution in the community? The water gives foul odor to the surroundings. The water is already stagnant. Aquatic animals no longer thrive in the river. Tourists are no longer attracted to visit the place. Swimming is no longer possible because of the dirty water. What is the community doing to address the problem? A barangay ordinance was crafted to protect the river. Whoever was caught dumping garbage in the river would be punished. Washing clothes and cars or jeepneys are prohibited. Regular cleanup drive along the river bank is conducted every weekend. Learners take aways. Fill out the chart below to know if you've learned something from our lesson this week. Reflection on learning. Reflect on this. You may write your answer in your notebook. My role in addressing the environmental problem of my community. Activity. On a one eight size illustration board, make a poster slogan showing proper care for the environment. Refer to the rubric below for scoring. What have we learned today? Today, we learned about Environmental Problems it is a state in which the order and law of the ecosystem collapse as its original ecological function is destroyed due to the influence of human activities. Kids, 
Thank you for listening. I hope you have learned something. Do not forget to click the like, share, and subscribe.